Welcome back to Morning Manna and happy Thanksgiving Eve. Just a note, if you haven't thawed your turkey out yet, you've got a long night ahead of you. It can be done, sure. Is it gonna be easy? No. Will you hate yourself tomorrow? Most likely. Okay, over the last two days, we've been talking about expressing our gratitude to God and sharing with others what He's done for us so that generations to come will know of His goodness and His faithfulness in all circumstances. Well, today I wanna wrap up our time by sharing with you one of the memorial stone moments in my life. It's a story where the faith of one generation has strengthened the faith of another. My grandmother, Mary Ruth Connert, loved Jesus. She was a wife, a mother, a pastor's wife, a seamstress, church pianist, and if you ask my mom, there's nothing she couldn't do. When I was around seven, she bought me a, p a piano so that I could learn to play, and I don't play well, but all these years later, I still have that piano. Now, in the later years of her life, my grandmother suffered from dementia. And if you've ever seen the progression of the disease, you know how difficult it can be to watch bits and pieces of the people that we love disappear. What was amazing about my grandmother, though, is that even when she could no longer remember the names of her family, and later even when she couldn't speak, if you rolled her up to a piano, she would begin to play. And every time it was the same song, How Great Thou Art. The lyrics of the song are this, or some of them anyway. O oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder, consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. I watched the life of my grandmother echo the words of the psalmist in Psalm 73, 26. My heart and flesh may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Though her mind and body were failing, I'm confident that God was true to who he is and never abandoned her. I saw her life reflect the steadfastness of our God, and in doing so, she taught me that no matter what our circumstances, whether our minds or bodies fail, God will never leave us nor forsake us. The last verse of that song, that hymn, say, when Christ shall come with shout of acclamation and take me home, what joy shall fill my heart. Then shall I bow in humble adoration and then proclaim, my God, how great thou art. I know that was my grandmother's story, and it will be mine. And as I've reflected on this story even, my heart has been filled with thankfulness to God for the legacy of faith that he's given me and my family. And I wanna thank you for spending some time with me this week. I hope that you've gotten to take the time to remember the wondrous works that he's done. In fact, I'd love to hear some of those stories. If you'd like to, drop a comment in the links below or on this video and share with us what God has done for you and express your thanks to him. We'd love to rejoice with you in that. God bless you. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Pastor Wayne Tate will be here with us tomorrow, and I promise you won't want to miss it. We'll see you then.